भारत में ऐसे लोगों की संख्या बहुत तेजी से बढ़ रही है जो अब चैन की नींद से दूर होते जा रहे हैं और हो सकता है आप में से भी बहुत सारे लोग आज ऐसे होंगे जो इस समय हमें देख रहे हैं जिन्हें चैन की नींद गहरी नींद आनी अब बंद हो गई है नाउ डेज पीपल हैव मेनी डाउट अबाउट स्लीपिंग at least one out of every 3 people will experience some form of insomnia in their lifetime insomnia is when you consistently have difficulties either falling asleep difficulties staying asleep or you just don't feel refreshed or restored by your sleep the next day more sleep or less is there really a benefit in waking up early in the morning kuch chote bachon ko chhod dijiye कुछ जवान जो बहुत अच्छे एक्सरसाइज करते हैं उनको छोड़ दीजिए कुछ आत्मज्ञानी आत्मवेता ब्रह्मवेता महापुरुषों को छोड़ दीजिए शेष को नींद बहुत अच्छी नहीं आती सो कम लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट इट In the new year it is very important to improve your body properly people take many resolutions but they cannot fulfill them the reason for this is incorrect information and wrong inspiration you have to understand the right ways to improve health in today's episode we will discuss about sleep about which many doubts are there in people's minds we will eliminate all these doubts today and give you complete clarity about the sleep routine and sleep cycle one myth that often exists in people's minds is that you can complete the sleep of the whole week by sleeping more on weekends but practically this is not possible the truth in this matter is that you need to sleep at the right time but more than the quantity of sleep quality is necessary now how is quality sleep it is necessary to sleep at the right time and maintain regular sleep cycles which is extremely necessary according to the national sleep foundation Every person should sleep for at least 8 to 9 hours. Every hour you sleep prepares you to work for 2 hours. That's why when you sleep for 8 hours, it prepares you to work for the remaining 16 hours of the day. But along with this, you also have to keep in mind that you sleep at the same time every day and sleep as soon as possible. As mentioned earlier to work for 16 hours every day you need to sleep 8 hours you cannot do it like sleeping for 10 hours one day and then sleeping for 5 hours the next day due to irregular sleep timings many problems can arise such as insomnia hypertension high blood pressure etc according to ayurveda you must sleep and wake up at the same time every single day and make sure that you maintain your regular sleep cycles so exactly at what time should we sleep when should we wake up this is the subject of a discussion different people have different thoughts on this Some people believe that you should wake up early in the morning which is beneficial for your body. However, some people also believe that it does not make a difference and they believe that you should wake up whenever you feel like it. Let's know about this through Ayurveda. According to Ayurveda, every person should wake up during the Brahma Muhurat. Brahma Muhurat is a time that is 2 to 3 hours before the sunrise which is mostly between 3:30 to 5:30 am in the morning according to ayurveda there are many benefits to waking up at this time because this time 
is a time of extreme peace when our spiritual energy is at its peak so that we can do any work with great enthusiasm as it is said that you should exercise in the morning so if you wake up during the brahma mahurat you will notice that the desire and determination to exercise or to do any other work will be stronger so that you do not feel lazy this time is considered very satvik and you will feel many benefits yourself that's why following ayurveda start waking up during the brahma mahurat in the morning or at least half an hour before sunrise and you will automatically feel its benefits yourself to wake up early in the morning make sure you go to bed early at night nowadays you will see that people who have a problem of less sleep depend a lot on sleeping pills people keep taking these pills for years without knowing their side effects modern science has also proven in many researches and studies that taking too many sleeping pills can lead to laziness difficulty in breathing low heart rate vomiting and other problems as well according to the experience of many individuals it has also been found that you only get sleep until you take these pills and as soon as you stop them you have difficulty in sleep again and your insomnia comes back this proves that these pills should only be used as a short term and instant solution but not for regular use Ayurveda also emphasizes that for good sleep improve your lifestyle and do not depend on any medicine some ayurvedic herbs such as ashwagandha brahmi shank pushpi etc work on your entire brain and correct your sleep problem from the root and you will not get addicted to these at all this is why it is much better to understand the cause the root cause of your problem and solve it naturally rather than being dependent on any kind of synthetic medicines because these will cause you more harm than good another wrong habit that is in most people is that they keep using their phones all night and then they complain of not being able to sleep people ignore this thing a lot and pay absolutely no attention to their screen timings and screen usages let me explain you scientifically there is a sleep hormone released in our body during sleep which is called melatonin and it is extremely necessary for our body to sleep any kind of electronic screens such as tv laptops and mobile phones emits blue light rays which reduces the production of melatonin in our body which directly affects our sleep and we have difficulty falling asleep that's why modern science also emphasizes that you should reduce the use of any kind of screens one hour before sleep according to ayurveda as well before sleeping we should do such activities that bring relaxation to our bodies such as meditation yoga pranayam breathing exercises etc this is why it is very important to keep all these things in your mind if you are having trouble sleeping so these were some of the wrong habits and misconceptions related to sleep that are present in our minds knowingly or unknowingly these have a bad effect on our body and on the necessary sleep which is important to relax our body my message to all of you is that please pay attention to all these things and improve your lifestyle improve your habits connect yourself with ayurveda 
and make your body healthy. In this episode, whatever things we have discussed, adopt them in your life and implement them. In this new year, feel the positive effect of all these new habits in your life. But the question is, who will make this decision? Only you. From today onwards, adopt good habits in your life. Sleep and wake up at the correct timings. Get a deep sleep of 8 hours daily. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will keep making more videos like this for you. Until then, subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon, please like and share this video. For any questions, please ask us in the comments below. I will meet you in our next episode. Until then, remember that health is wealth. Thank you so much.